It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with the master of the universe, self-proclaimed, I may add, chief investment officer of our firm, my dad. Good morning, Bob Payne. What's happening? What's shaking on this April weekend? I appreciate the praise, Ry, but uh, just remember, pride goes before the fall. You know what, Bob? I just can't help myself. I'm just feeling very benevolent today. And just, I'm just, I'm layering it on thick, man. <laughs> You're just excited because uh, the Sixers from your old hometown in Philadelphia have made it to the next level of the playoffs. I think that's what's really going on. I mean, we had an Eagles championship this year, Villanova, my alma mater won the NCAA championship. Now the Sixers are doing great. I apologize to all of our New York area listeners, but man, it is like a good year to be a Philadelphian or originally a Philadelphian. Long-suffering Philadelphia fans are having a great time right now. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. So it feels good to be a winner for once. Well, we've got a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about the double-edged sword. There's a lot of times in investing when you feel like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. We're going to address some of the tougher decisions you're going to have to make when it comes to your money and essentially how to make them. We're going to talk about Will Rogers. Remember Will Rogers? Well, he had a lot of memorable quotes back in the day. And we're going to discuss how you can apply some of his more sound wisdom to your financial plan, along with this week's financial pornography. There's a lot of stuff out there in the media. We want you to avoid at all costs. And it's going to be an all-pain weekend. We have my colleague, Bob's colleague, my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne, on the show today. He's a financial advisor with us. He's going to talk about a real retirement plan he worked on and some of the issues or flaws that this couple is making with their retirement plan so you don't make those same mistakes with your own planning and investing. Let's hop right to it. Bob, remember the old Stone song, Caught Between a Rock and a Hard Place? You know, Rye, I love the Rolling Stones. They've been great since the 70s. They've been great since the 60s. I know. Come on. Some of the greatest albums came out when you were in eighth grade. I mean, <laughs> talk about a band with some longevity. Well, I think Mick Jagger was right when he talked about being caught between a rock and a hard place. And I think he was definitely talking about investing because there's a lot of decisions that you have to make when you're an investor that make you feel like you were caught between a rock and a hard place. And I think one of the big ones right now is you want to reduce the risk in your portfolio but you don't want to miss out on all the potential growth in the stock market. And we've had a lot of growth. What do you do, Bob? You know, you've dealt with that your whole career. I mean, I've been doing this for 43 years. Every client I ever worked with, you and you know everyone else, deals with two huge human emotions when it comes to investing. Can you guess what those two might be? It's fear and greed, Bob. It's what drives the markets continually over time. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's uh, when, you, when you talk about reducing risk in your portfolio or adding risk in your portfolio, you have to deal with those two emotions. I mean, right, we opened our doors back in 2009. Now, we created pain capital management as we you know, came over from Maryland. 2008 for the record. It's been a decade. Been a decade, right? In a decade. Now, do you remember what people were saying back in 2009? It was an ugly time, 2008 into 2009, because we started our firm in July for the record. So we're almost at a decade. We should have a big party. But, <laughs> but if you remember back then, yeah, I do remember it. It was apocalypse now. You know, markets sure. were selling off. Every prognosticator on TV was saying it's like, this is the end. Market's never going to go up again. It's not the market's not only going to go up, the economy's never going to grow again. The business cycle's been repealed. It was over, right? It was over. Now, you look at the markets today, the SP 500's up 260% since then. That's our insane. small company growth portfolio rise up 320% over that period of time. That's a lot yeah. better than never going up again. Yeah. So I think there's something to be learned from here. It's my favorite Warren Buffett quote, Bob. It's when everyone is fearful that's the time to be greedy. And when everyone becomes greedy, that's the time to be fearful, which is very hard to do because, again, when things are going well, you just keep thinking to yourself, oh, man, I, you know, I could keep going up. I want to keep making money. But the problem is when things go down, you start to panic 
and you want to sell out and that's just like the wrong thing to do. It's the same mistake you make over and over again, Rye. You base your investment decisions anticipating what everybody tells you is going to happen. Now, do you know why there are unexpected moves in financial markets? And I take a wild guess because they're unexpected. <laughs> Absolutely. Everything that's known <laughs> is already priced in. So everything you already know is priced in. Everything everybody reads, everybody reads the same things. We watch the same media. It's all priced into the market. What's not priced in is what is unknown. You know, it's kind of the old expression, Rye. It's the snake you don't see that bites you. Yeah. And the perfect example of that is we go back to 2016. It was February to be exact. That's when oil prices plummeted. Everyone said China's having problems. They're not going to grow. So you had oil go down. You had the markets go down. And you also, the, all the analysts on Wall Street were saying interest rates are going to stay low. We're going to have deflation. We're going to continue to have mm -hmm. deflation. And none of that happened, right? Everything went the opposite way, which just goes back to what you just said, Bob, is you just don't, you can't predict what's going to happen next. So having an all or none strategy just doesn't work. Yeah, because it's almost as if people think they have to be right every day. It's about investing for your goals. And you go back to 2016, a lot of people just went to cash. And instead of having a, a balanced portfolio, a diversified portfolio, they ended up making zero where over that same time frame, you had one of the best year and a half periods of return in the history of the financial markets. Yeah. And I think that we can learn from this. And I think right now, as you're building your financial plan, what you want to think about is you don't have to have an all or none strategy. You want to be prepared for anything. So if you want growth in your portfolio, you need a portion of your portfolio that's structured for growth. But on the flip side, you know, along the way, markets do pull back, you get corrections, you want to have the protection in your portfolio, you want to have both. So right now, if you have too much money in the markets, and as I review portfolios, there's a good chance you probably do, you know, you need to start thinking about how do I dial back the risk, especially if I'm getting close to retirement or I'm in retirement, because you can't afford the same kind of risk you had years ago. And vice versa, if you're sitting with way too much cash right now, you don't have to put all your money in the market. You know, you can put money into safer investments like fixed income and bonds to offset any kind of risk that you may want to take in the portfolio. So, you know, really having a diversified portfolio, Bob, is, is about not having an all or none solution. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to re allocates or readdress how much risk I have or don't have in my portfolio, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. If you bring in your tax return, you may have just gotten it back. We'll have our CPA partner review it to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. If you bring in your wills and trusts, we actually have an estate planning partner that'll let you know what you need to do to make your estate plan up to date. And simply, if you just bring in all your statements, put them in a big brown paper bag, we'll go through all of them. We'll build you a personalized portal where you can see everything and we'll do a full portfolio analysis, a full x-ray. We're going to look at income. Income is critical for retirement. It's much more reliable than the market going up or down. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize income on your portfolio for retirement. We're going to look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Do you have an all or none strategy? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in your portfolio from those annuities, insurance products, mutual funds. We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is call us or you can text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no strings attached, but you have to call 844-752-6692. You can call or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob, I'm with my son, Rye. We are the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio.
Hi, I'm a soon-to-be-retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And the global markets pulled back slightly on the week in spite of excellent economic news and really, really good earnings. U.S. durable goods orders rose 2.6% in March. Now, that exceeded analyst expectations of a 1.6% gain. Meanwhile, the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits fell to the lowest level since 1969. Now, that was when Nixon was in the White House and I was in high school. In addition, first quarter GDP came in at 2.3%, way above consensus estimates. Now, the companies that have reported earnings thus far, 80% have reported better than expected earnings, leading some analysts to project earnings growth at 22% for the quarter. So with so much good news, why has the market been so volatile? The market has closed up or down 1% 31 times so far this year. Now, to put that in perspective, it only did that eight times in all of 2017. Now, some point to the 10-year Treasury, now yielding 3% for the first time in several years. And with the labor market approaching what economists consider full employment, it increases the odds the Federal Reserve will boost short-term interest rates additionally later this year. Now, the Fed's also keeping a close eye on inflation, and signs of higher inflation are popping up everywhere. The strongest global economy in years is driving up demand for commodities where prices are rising. The commodity index is up for the year and is outperforming almost all stock and bond indices. So don't be surprised if we see the market experience additional volatility in the coming weeks. Now, trying to time short-term corrections always results in failure and tears. Bull markets declines come and go fast. You want to take advantage of the buying opportunities that market pullbacks present, and you don't want to miss the gains that come in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's built to win in this environment? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to educate you, keep financial planning simple, common sense, get rid of all the jargon. And that's why we put together our latest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple baseline course just to get you started on the financial planning process. Simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get our newest video series, just a simple guide to help you figure out how you're going to be able to create an income you cannot outlive. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our course for free. In this segment, we want to talk about Will Rogers. So, Bob, do you remember who Will Rogers even is? Will Rogers, legendary, right? Legendary, legendary. in the 20s and 30s, political comedian. You know, he's famous for saying, I don't make jokes. I just watch the government and report the facts. 
<laughs> sounds like some things have not changed. That no, things don't change. When it comes to government, never changes. Well, he had a lot of great quotes, timeless quotes that you could really apply to your financial planning. And, and one that you know I really like, and I guess you know going back to the government is the only difference between death and taxes is that death doesn't get worse every time Congress meets. <laughs> So well said, and, and especially now with this new tax bill. I mean, what happened to you and I? What happened to you with this new tax bill, right? Oh, it's not pretty. I mean, I live in New York City, so it's just it's disastrous. You know, I can't deduct a lot of my state and local income taxes, which is, you know, again, it just seems like we get taxed more and more, Bob. I, not to, I'll get off my soapbox, but it's just, you know, it's not pretty. No, it's true. And the thing is, What's going to happen going forward? You know, Congress will continue to increase taxes on people who have money. So our job, as I see it, is to help you protect your portfolio from the government. So there's lots of good steps you can take when it comes to the government, right? Remember what our accountant always says? Look, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, but don't give them any of yours. Yeah, and I think that's that hits the nail right on the head. And that's why during our total financial master plan, we actually have a CPA that will review your tax return because there's so many tax strategies that you can utilize that you're probably not utilizing that has a significant impact on your portfolio and what income tax you pay. You know, one of our famous sayings, Bob, is money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. And it really is worth your while to figure out what tax strategies you can deploy. And there's a lot of them. And that's why we always do our reviews holistically so we can look at all those things. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? When you when you look at your portfolio, you're thinking, you know, how much did I make? It's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. You want to have a tax efficient portfolio. You know, you want to own bonds that are tax free in the income as opposed to taxable income. You want to max out the contributions to your retirement plans. These are things that people forget to do. So it's important to have a portfolio that generates return, but it's not what it makes, it's what you keep. Yeah, and that's why it's so important to do these things holistically. And again, that's why we do our reviews as a holistic review as opposed to, I just have an investment guy here, it does that, tax guy here, it does that. That they should be working in concert. That's why another quote, Rye, right, from Will Rogers is, I'm not as concerned about the return on my money as I am the return of my money. How brilliant is that quote? Oh, man. Yes. I mean, I, I think that's, you know, when I think about that, that's why I think about bonds in our portfolio, Bob, or safe investments. You can't have everything at risk in your portfolio. And if you're going to have safety in your portfolio, this is why we don't like bond funds, because there is no date in the future that says, I get a return on my money on a bond fund. Whereas when you own an institutionally managed portfolio bonds that come due, you do have a return of principal on your portfolio. And that's a very key difference when you're starting to think about building a portfolio for retirement. It is a key difference. And I think a lot of mistakes are being made right now by people who are eschewing having any bonds whatsoever in their portfolio because they keep reading about Warren Buffett's 100% in equities. Well, of course he is. You know, he's a billionaire. Bonds are not about getting a higher return than your stock or commodity portfolio. It's about preservation of capital. It's about getting a return of your money. And unfortunately, Wall Street packages bonds in an investment strategy where you can lose money almost on an annual basis. Yeah, you really need to know the downside risk in your portfolio. That's really critical, especially now because interest rates are going up. And when that happens, typically bond prices go down. So knowing what type of bonds you have in your portfolio what kind of safety you really have is a really critical component. Um, well, what another- drives me crazy, Rye, is you're sitting there in a portfolio where you're invested along with a thousand strangers you don't know. And if they panic because inflation's going up or interest rates are going up, you get penalized because they're selling the mutual fund you own and the portfolio manager's forced to sell good bonds at bad prices. Well, like I say, Bob, owning a bond fund's like going down in an elevator with people you don't really like. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Another great quote from Will is, when you are satisfied, you are successful, for that's all there is to success is satisfaction. I like that because you know what that says to me, Bob, is don't try to get just a bigger return for the sake of getting a bigger return, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you know, that's the same thing, right? I see it the same way. Invest in the market you have, not the market you want. I mean, it's, uh, so many people have been sitting in cash for the last eight to 10 years because they've been waiting for the bell to ring. And they're not going to be successful. You know, I have an expression, scared money never wins. 
Well, I think the bigger part of that too is when you're looking to build your investment portfolio and you see the markets going up and up, and let's say you have a more conservative strategy, well, you may not need that aggressive strategy anymore. And this is the perfect time to look at that because the market has done well. And there's a good chance your portfolio is still aggressive as it was 10 years ago. And remember, when that bear market hit, how did your portfolio fare? And now, as I always say, you're 10 years closer to retirement. Maybe you're retired now. You can't afford the same risk. Put together a portfolio that keeps your lifestyle intact. That's satisfaction. Not looking to get the next big return, not taking unnecessary risk. All those things are so, so critical as you get down the home stretch for retirement. You know, it's more than that, Rye. It's uh, so many of you I see have a deflationary portfolio designed for you. I mean, it's we were in a deflationary period. We're now in an inflationary period. You have to have a portfolio that's built to win. And a that's lot of a people point. haven't made any changes. You need to make changes in your portfolio to adjust to the times as they are right now. Yeah. I mean, it's something that you have to look at is the portfolio you had the last 10 years is not going to be successful the next 10 years. You have to make those adjustments in your portfolio. Exactly. And if you're sitting here wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. And if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to review your tax situation to make sure you're not paying any unnecessary taxes to the IRS or to your state and local government. We're going to look at your estate plan. You know, the worst thing you want to have is an estate plan that's an IOU to the IRS. We can prevent that by simply reviewing the documents at no cost to you. And lastly, we're going to look at all your investment statements. Now, we just received our statements for the month. They're sitting on your desk. Throw them in a shopping bag. Pick up the phone. Give us a call. We're going to break your portfolio down to the three core elements of a successful strategy, diversification, fees, and income. You know, many of you are not diversified properly. You're overweighted in yesterday's winners, right? The economy is changing. Inflation's coming. You want to be prepared to have a inflationary hedged portfolio. You want to look at your cost. You know, the cost of doing business, it's always there. You know, no one works for free. But why would you allow someone to overcharge you with those hidden costs that are buried deep in the prospectus of your mutual fund or in that big fat annuity contract? And lastly, we all need income. Everyone has a gap in their income in retirement. You want to be certain that that income gap is being filled with a more dependable stream of cash. And finally, we're going to look at your entire financial picture and tie it all together into one total financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right. For four decades, our family has been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over 200,000 saved for retirement, you're one of the next 10 callers. We'll give you the full review. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. We have a couple slots. Take advantage of it now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there in the dark, profane world of financial pornography today? What's going on in the markets? What's going on with the media? Major scandal, Rye, in the banking industry. Oh, my God. What is it, Bob? Just as Americans are saving more money in their checking and savings accounts, just as interest rates are going up, 
Yes. Banks are paying nothing. Unbelievable. Shocking. Yeah. You mean those <laughs> good-hearted banks are not raising the interest rates on your money market fund even though interest rates are going up? I never thought they'd be that evil, Bob. Well, they did raise one rate, Rye, the rate that they'll lend you money at. <laughs> so they're they're lending money to me at a higher rate and then paying anyone who's putting money in the savings or checking account with them no more interest. That sounds like a very bad deal for you, the consumer who's putting money into a checking account, earning almost nothing. Yeah, and it's not one or two banks. It's all of them. They're all in on this, and nobody's saying a word about it. Just incredible. And just as people are putting more and more money in, you know, that's been happening since 2008, right? That whole collapse of the financial market scared the living daylights out of people, and they're just putting more and more money into cash. They're hoarding money in cash accounts that pay nothing. Oh, yeah. I mean, we see it all the time, and there's a good chance... In 2008, you may have gotten out of the market and you never fully got back in, which means you probably have a lot of money sitting in cash. And now interest rates are going up. It was bad enough. They were, you were earning almost nothing on your cash, but you're still earning nothing on your cash. And mm -hmm. guess what, Bob? Last time I looked, cost of living today is higher than it was 10 years ago, which means not only didn't you earn money on your cash, but you didn't make any. You lost money. You actually lost money. And the thing is, Rye, you know, the banks offer CD, certificates of deposit, which are a higher rate of interest. And they only let you get your money when you need it. See, that's the biggest fear. They'll say, what happens if I need this money? Well, if you're at a bank, they'll give you a higher rate, but then they charge you a penalty if you want your money back. You can invest in the same instruments, you know, through someone like us, and there's no penalty to redeem your certificate if you need the money. So it's just, it's kind of shame on you for trusting the banks. I would have to say. Yeah, you should never trust the banks. That's a good lesson. Good life <laughs> lesson. Yeah, the other thing too, Bob, is it's just, you know, we talk about this a lot. And if you're sitting with a lot of cash right now, you know, there's probably some fear like, oh my God, you know, the market's going straight up. I don't want to put my money in the market because that could just crash. So I don't know if I should put money in bonds. If interest rates go up, my bond prices will go down. It doesn't really matter. It's all about generating income on your portfolio. And there's conservative, and there's more risky ways to do that. But by building a portfolio that creates a lot of current income is the real key. Most of your money over time, most of your return on your money is going to come from income that you can generate. And there's a lot of, I would say, conservative ways to do that, Bob. Well, I guess in spite of all these wonderful commercials I see, Rye, the bank just doesn't have your back. So, you know, what else did you discover? What did you uncover this week in the world of financial pornography? Well, one of the headlines I caught, and there's a lot of headlines like this, it's clear the market is telling us there's a problem up ahead. So obviously, it's a very bearish sentiment. The uh, author goes on to say, it's clear there is some kind of problem ahead, whether it's a peak economic growth, peak profits, a looming trade war, political upheaval at home, or a geopolitical event abroad. That's a lot of different things that can happen. It's almost the equivalent, Bob, of if I walk outside my door in the morning, I could slip and fall, so I shouldn't walk outside in the morning. Yeah, they like, did they tell us that Jupiter might hit Mars next week? <laughs> I think that was the next one on the list, but he forgot to write it in there. Yeah, I, I read a similar headlines, Rye. There are things like, well, you know, the market could drop 40%. Well, yeah, sure. It could go up 40% too. Anything could happen, you know, because anything can happen. But, you know, just take a look at oil. I mean, oil was $26 a barrel just a year and a half ago. It was peak oil, right? We had peak prices in oil. You know, before when oil was at $120 a barrel, we had peak oil in terms of supply. Now, all of a sudden, supply is not a problem and oil is hitting, uh, you know, 52-week highs. They like this peak, you know, now it's peak earnings, right? We just had fantastic earnings for the quarter. It'll never get better. Well, I think that's right now one of the biggest concerns I have is economic conditions are some of the best we've ever seen, right? We have very low unemployment here in the US, historically mm -hmm. low unemployment. Consumers, us, the American people, our balance sheet looks better than it ever has before. We're wealthier than we've ever been before. You have synchronized global growth around the world. That means not only the US is growing, but the world's growing all in concert. And meanwhile, the headlines can only point to all the things that could go wrong, which they could. But if you look at it, Bob, I mean, right now, fundamentals are probably some of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, this country made more money than it's ever made in its history this past quarter. But I think you forget that the U.S. economy has been growing like this since 1776, right? 
that's a long time, Bob. You know, I don't remember the 1776s that well, but that's a long time for a market to go up. Well, it's not just the market, it's the economy. Our economy always grows. I mean, sure, there's there's impasses and there's short-term corrections. We've had a lot of volatility since January when, you know, market hit its all-time record high. Not just a recent high, an all-time record high just this past January. Market's been, you know, a little volatile since then, but we just had record earnings. We just had a great report on the economy this week. We had the lowest unemployment claims in the history of the country, and companies are making more money than ever. And people keep saying, well, things are really bad. Yeah. Well, it's always going to be 2020 hindsight, and that's why they call this the most hated bull market of all time. But regardless of what you think, you know, the market could be going up, could be going down. No one knows for sure, but b- bottom line is it's very dangerous here to sit in cash and wait to see what happens, especially if you're planning for retirement or you're in retirement right now. You know, like we've harped on a lot today is you've got to generate income on your portfolio. It's so critical and there's a lot of ways to do that relatively conservative where you don't have to worry about the geopolitical risk in the short term that may or may not happen, but again, based on your goals. What we talk about you know, are what do we call black swan events, You know, things that can't be forecasted, things that can't be known, but the media drums out these reports every week. You know, Geopolitical risk is noise, right? Any information that you see on the nightly news is simply noise. It's the short term. Just like Warren Buffett says, short term, the market is a voting machine. In the long term, it's a weighing machine. What really matters, are companies doing better and are they going to do better going in the future? And as I said, since 7076, all we've ever done is get better, bigger, more profitable, more successful. That's a trend I'm going to bet on, son. I like it, Bob. I like it. I'm feeling very patriotic right now. And if you're saying to yourself, I need a plan for retirement. I need to get my stuff in order. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I keep a couple slots to run for you at no cost. Our total financial master plan, if you call right now, that's a full holistic review where we analyze everything. If we bring in last year's tax return, we have our CPA partner. We'll review it. Make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. If you bring in your estate docs that will down the basement, it has been updated in years, we'll have our estate planner review that to make sure it's up to date, what changes you need to make, and then just get all those statements. Stick them in a brown paper bag. We'll sort through everything. We'll build you your own online personal portal where we get a bird's eye view of your total net worth. And we're going to look at all the important critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at income. What is your income gap in retirement? How are we going to fill it? We're going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of expensive hidden costs in your portfolio in those mutual funds, insurance products, annuities. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your portfolio retirement ready? What pitfalls do you have? If the market corrects tomorrow, are you prepared? We're going to show you how to do it. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we have perfected for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. We have a few slots left. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844 752 6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. We told you earlier that Ryan Payne is the president of Payne Capital Management. This means he's the one responsible for designing the firm's investment and financial planning strategies. He has almost two decades of experience helping clients innovate, evolve, and fine-tune their strategies. Ryan's a strong believer in goal-based financial planning and investing. To reach out to Ryan and his team, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
Your personalized path to financial freedom awaits at Payne Capital Management. For more information, go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, and Bob and I want to educate you. And that's why we put together our latest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a very easy, simple, three-part video course. Give you a baseline to get the financial planning process started. We want to make it easy for you. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. We'll give you a breakdown baseline. Get started. Check it out. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, and check out Bob's magnificent head of hair, it is magnificent, go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. You can sign up to get the show delivered to your email. We put timely articles up there. Learn a little more about the firm. You can check it out. And if you ever have a question... You want to ask myself or Bob, you can simply email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And you can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News with Stuart Varney, depending on the day, usually on a Tuesday. And I can't fail to mention the man in the studio, our producer, Mark Haywood, who makes everything tick. What's going on this morning, Haywood? Just making you guys sound good on the air, Ryan. Good morning, gents. Which is not easy. It's a tall order, but I am up to the challenge. Man, I, I do not envy you. So what email questions do you have over there for Bob and I? We'll, uh, we'll answer some right here on the air like we'd like to do every week. Yeah, let's dive into the digital mailbag here. We got a question from Sally on Great Neck, Long Island. Thanks for writing in, Sally. She says, Bob, I just heard that I can get half of my ex's social security benefit. Is that true? Can I really take half of it away from him? Very strategic, Sally. I like it. Yes. Well, here's the thing, Sally. You're not taking anything away from anybody, but you may be entitled to a social security benefit based on the fact you got to be at least 62 years or older, and you had to have been married at least 10 years or longer, and then you can receive benefits based on your ex-spouse's record. So you're entitled to social security and maybe some disability benefits as well. But you know, Rye, isn't it with Social Security, don't you find a lot of people really don't understand what they're entitled to? Yeah, I mean, there's so many different ways to take Social Security, and that's why you know, we run specialized calculators to figure out what's best for you, because like everything else, it has to be unique to you, whatever your neighbor's going to take in Social Security, or your brother or sister are taking in Social Security, probably isn't the best option for you. So there's a lot of different ways to take it. And that's why it's really, really important. I, you know, Sally, I commend Sally for even realizing that she might be able to get a benefit from her ex-spouse because a lot of people don't even realize you can do that. So it definitely pays to have those numbers run to figure out what's optimal for you or you and your spouse if you're married. Yeah, you know, I see that so many times, right? You'll sit there and you'll look at your social security benefit and say, oh, I'll wait till I get the maximum. And then people just take it at 62 or they look at their pension benefit if they have one. I happen to have one. And there's lots of different choices. And it's, it's so nice to have, you know, the financial portal where you can run these analyses and, and run these projections to see what works out best for you, for your family, for your heirs. It's kind of common sense when you have the numbers, but most people make an emotional decision, don't they? That's right, Bob. It seems like from what you've, you're saying and from what I hear every week, emotions play such a major role in really so many financial decisions. And it also seems like a lot of people don't really understand or think about Social Security. And it's something they just know that's out there. And so they start withdrawing it only to realize it's too late and that they've taken the wrong approach or the wrong strategy. And so they're missing out on higher potential income. You know, there are some folks who have just haven't saved it for retirement. They don't contribute to their 401k. They don't think they're ever going to be 65. Hey, Rye, I didn't think I was ever going to be 65. What happened? <laughs> You're almost there. We're not there yet, Bob. You know, enjoy your last month or two at 64. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that, Bob. <laughs> well, I did sign up for Medicare, and that's the other thing. You forget you have to sign up for Medicare, and if you don't, there's a big penalty. So you got to be certain that someone's got your back when it comes to benefits, whether it's, you know, government benefits or corporate benefits. You know, you deserve to get what you're entitled to. 
And that's right, Bob. Make sure you get what you're entitled to and make sure that you're planning ahead that you understand a little bit about Social Security going into it, which just brings me back to Sally. Great job thinking through these things. It's an important part of your overall financial plan that you need to be thinking through. Thanks for writing into the show. Let's go over now to Hugh from the internet, from the interwebs. (laughs) I like that, Hugh. Hugh Hugh must be trying to identify with the millennials out there. (laughs) Hugh from the internet. He says, have bonds become as volatile as equities? Can hedging your risk become more challenging in the future because of subject? Ah, this is such a great question. Interest rates are going up, Hugh. It's very true. And when that happens, bond prices go down. And Bob and I have been preaching this for a long time. It's so critical, Bob, the way you own your bonds right now, because with rates going up, you could have some serious risk there. You know, it's just like Will Rogers said, it's it's not a concern about a return of your money. It's return of your money. You want to make sure that when you lend money, which is what you do when you buy a bond, right, is that you're lending money to someone who has the ability not only to pay you interest for the trouble, but also to give you your money back. That's why I told you, never lend to your father-in-law or your brother-in-law. I'm making notes right now, and it was nice <laughs> that you tied in Will Rogers again. Well played, Bob. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, but, right, we keep telling people not to buy bond funds, but what, what should they own? Right, and this is in my opinion, the only way to own bonds, specifically in a rising interest rate environment, that's an institutionally managed bond portfolio that you own outright. So that means you want to own bonds and institutions buying at better pricing that your broker can buy. You're buying high quality bonds that they're doing homework on. And most importantly, Bob, they're bonds that are held in your account that come due as a return of principal, like the great Will Rogers said, and a bond fund just doesn't do that. And that's a problem. You know, one of my clients referred me to their brother-in-law the other day, Ryan. He had a ton of bonds over at one of the major brokerage firms. He bought them individual bonds. They had fixed coupons and fixed maturity dates. But you know what they didn't have? They didn't have oversight. You know, no stockbroker has the facility to do municipal finance reviews. They have no insight into what's happening with that bond after they sell it to you. And that's a big problem. Yeah. I mean, Puerto Rico comes to mind. You know, you may own (laughs) Puerto Rican bonds that your broker sold you and they're not doing well because no one was doing their homework. Clients from Atlantic City and they had Atlantic City bonds, which were A-rated when they bought them and now they're C-rated. And they said, yo, Bob, that doesn't matter. They'll come do and get my face value back, won't I? And I said, not necessarily. So that's why it's important to have you know, a portfolio of high quality bonds where you're not just getting a return on your money, but you're getting a return of your money. Now, Rye, you know, the problem with that client, when I sat down with him, I asked him on a scale of one to 10, how organized were they financially? What do you think he told me? Bob, with all of you that I meet every week, you're probably low on the scale. I'm going to say a two or three because let's face it, we're just not financially organized. He said, after my review, he said, Bob, it looks like I'm a negative one. And when I asked him, where would you like to be? What do you think he told me? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Ry, if you want to be a 10, if you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life, you'd like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified where you can just drop in and look at it when you have time, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers. If you've saved over $200,000 for retirement, my son and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. You know what that means? That means everything will be in one view. You only have to have one account password, one sign-on. All you have to have is one password. Your sign-on is your email address, and you'll have every account, brokerage account, bank account, insurance policy, every credit card, even your mortgage. Virtually everything with a statement and online access will now be simplified, organized into one financial portal. On top of that, it'll update your progress towards your goals whether it's a lifetime of income you can't outlive, whether it's you know multi-generational wealth or estate planning, it'll be updated on a daily basis. And it'll all be tied together into one total financial master plan, which will give you a window into your financial future and will answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over 40 years. That's correct. For the last four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, to your goals, to your dreams, your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty 
as a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we have a couple slots left. Call now, 844-752-6692. You can call or text 844 752 Six six nine two. Wouldn't it be great to get financially organized once and for all? Do it now at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no game. Financial radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to keep it simple, educate you, and that's why we put together our latest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive, just a simple baseline to get you started on the financial planning process. You can download it for free, check it out, simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, that's the word BULLISH to 555-888. Give you just a simple, easy way to start so it's not overwhelming. Check it out, our online course for free at 555-888. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite, favorite part of the show, our Spotlight segment where we take a real retirement plan and we dissect it and we point out the flaws or what we call pain points that's P-A-Y-N-E for the record, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your planning. And we do have a very special guest this morning, Bob's son, my brother and colleague, financial planner for Payne Capital Management, Mr. Chris Payne. That was a hell of a intro. <laughs> hey, good morning, Ryan and Dad. How are you guys? Hey, hey based on what uh, Ryan just said about you, Chris, you obviously take after your mother. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, you know, the... The phone broke up there a little bit. I'm pretty sure Ryan said uh, the more intelligent, more handsome brother. I think that's what I heard. <laughs> Apparently, your hearing's going, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with having a healthy self-image, right? What can I say? I agree. I agree. So tell me. Talk about – you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give Bob and I the rundown on this actual retirement plan you helped get put in place? Yeah, sure. So this is a couple that I've been trying to meet with for some time. Every time we schedule something, they have to cancel for whatever reason or other. You know, just a very busy young couple, both working full time. And we did finally get to sit down recently. And thank goodness that we did. And when we sat down, you know, one of the biggest concerns that they brought to my attention was one, you know, they've had these portfolios for years. They haven't had an advisor. And so one of the biggest concerns was that if they did take on an advisor, that they would have to pay some additional fees. So, you know, in looking at this portfolio and doing the analysis, one of the things that we found out right off the bat was that they wouldn't have to pay additional fees. And in fact, we were able to slightly lower their fees in comparison to what they were paying today. And on top of that, they get great advice. The other thing that they were concerned about was that, you know, just making sure that their money was going to last them through retirement. And after running through a wealth projection, 
you know, not only is the money going to last them in retirement, if they continue to save what they save today, they're going to be in great shape. So well, one you know, of the things I, I, I find that so yeah. often when you when you see someone who has assets spread around, they think I'm diversifying my portfolio, right, Chris? Yep. Exactly. And what they find out is is that you know there is no free lunch. No one works for free, and there are costs that are sometimes hidden from you know the casual observer. And just do a little deep dive, and you find out that not only were they paying more in costs than they needed to achieve the returns they were achieving, but they were actually underperforming you know, relative to our portfolio, what they could achieve in, in the financial markets. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, the there's other th- no free lunch, you know, it's, uh, that's the thing you can't remember. It's, uh, there's nothing for free, especially when it comes to financial services. You know, Chris, a lot of times you'll have a portfolio where you're taking way more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. And I think that's something you found out here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. In this case, they're almost 90% in equities, 90% in risk assets, and they really don't need to be at this point, just because their projections look so good and they're doing really a fantastic job at saving. What would have happened had we had another correction like 2008 to their portfolio? Well, you know what, considering that most of their money is primarily in U.S. stocks, they would have been down close to 40% had they stayed invested the same way back in 2008. And was it necessary to be this risky in the market based on, on what they've done, their savings rates and how much money they've accumulated? No, I mean, they're, they're saving a great deal of money every year. They're way ahead of schedule. So taking this amount of risk is just completely unnecessary. And you were able to add some certainty to the portfolio, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, one of the things that I think people really overlook is the fact that you know, almost half of their return is going to come from the income portion of the portfolio, the interest and dividends that the portfolio yes. generates. It's all about income. I mean, how many times do we have to rattle that cage? It really is about income, not about market appreciation. It's uh, it's such a critical component to your portfolio. Because I think the one thing we have to ask ourselves is, what is our income gap, right? It's You know you're going to work for X amount of years. You know when you stop working. If you're lucky, you'll get Social Security. I don't know about you and me, Chris. <laughs> I think we might come to an age where at 90, we'll be able to get Social Security. You know, you may have a pension coming in, but after that, where are you going to replace that income? And if you don't have a portfolio that produces consistent current income that goes up over time, you're missing the boat when it comes to your retirement plan. Yeah, absolutely right. And you know what? Just as a commitment to dad, you know, Ryan and I are going to continue to contribute to Social Security so that you can continue to live in the lifestyle you've become accustomed to. Which is very well, lavish. That's good news. That's good news because I plan on keep taking it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> as you should. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a heavy load, you know, trying to keep Bob in the lifestyle he's accustomed to. All my baby boomer clients and friends salute you. <laughs> well, if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a review just like this. I need to get a game plan for retirement. I don't have one right now. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over 200000 are saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Chris Payne, all the pains will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full review just like this. We're going to address all those issues. We're going to look at what income gap do you have? How do you increase the income on your portfolio? How to get yourself retirement ready? We're going to get all of your statements, put them in a brown paper bag, bring them in the office. We'll load everything into a personalized portal for you. And we're going to look at all the different issues for you. We're going to look at diversification. What risks do you have in the portfolio? Are you protected against the next downturn in the market? Are you taking way more risks than you need? We're going to show you where those pitfalls are in the portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. You're not getting something for free. There's probably hidden costs in your portfolio that you can reduce. We're going to show you how to do that. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, are we going to fill in that income gap and create you a lifetime of income that you can outlive utilizing strategies? Our family here, the Pains, have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or you can text. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over $200,000 for your retirement, our team will create your own 360 financial portal 
but you have to call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Woo, another great show, an all-pain show. I always love it. Chris, thanks for coming on, brother. It was great having you. Right. It's always a pleasure. I can't disagree with that. <laughs> Big Bob, enjoy your last week in Florida. If you come back and join us Northeasterners here, as we make the weather warmer for you finally. Well, we're like that, and I'm also rooting for the Wildcats at the Penn Relays this weekend uh, to win a couple more championships of America. Hey, that's right. For all you track fans out there, it's the Penn Relays this weekend. I'm excited. <laughs> well, have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.